Super Mario 3D World, a linear Mario title in which you collect green stars, stamps, and get to the flagpole to make progress and beat the game. Doing all this requires a lot of precision and movement techniques. But what if you removed one of those techniques? Well, that is what we are doing today. We are going to remove jumping. Now, if you have tried to do this, you would know that it is impossible to get past the second level of the game without jumping. No. We are going to see the minimum amount of jumps required to beat Super Mario 3D World. The rules are simple. I cannot long jump, spin jump, raw jump, rolling long jump, any of that stuff. The only reason I should jump is if I absolutely have to jump to make progress. What is allowed is wall climbs, swimming, bouncing off of enemies, and rolling slash diving. I am dividing this video into three parts. If you don't want to miss the next two, consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you are caught up with all my recent content. All done? Great. Now let's jump right into it. Oh wait, we're not supposed to jump. The first level of the game is simple. We need to get the cat suit. The cat suit is vital if we want to complete this challenge. Also, we'll need to play as Peach for the entire run, as she can float to clear certain obstacles. For the first part of the level, we can just go through the pipes to avoid jumping. We get the first green star with ease. Next, I climb up this wall to get onto this fencing. This is the sort of thing that I will do throughout the challenge, so just be ready for it. I cat dive down onto this fencing and walk around it. The second and third green stars are easy. Then, I walk on this fence to just barely reach the flagpole without jumping. Next is 1-2. I climb up walls throughout the level to progress. I collect the fir first green star and then bounce off this Koopa to reach the second star. Then we hit an obstacle. There is no wall to climb up here without jumping. And while we can't go through this pipe without jumping, it doesn't matter for long. We have to jump. Next, I throw this shell to get the last green star and go into the secret exit. World 1, done. Next up is World Dash 2. For 2-1, we go around this way to get the first star. The rest of the level is easy, but then we reach this part. We have to do an epic trick jump to reach the second star. The third star is easy, and we complete the level without jumping. 2-3 is the start of what you're really watching. This is our first challenge of many. After the first green star, I realize that I have to start over because of the lead near the fuzzies. There's no way for me to clear this, or so I thought. I can bounce on this plant to get up here, but that means I have to skip the green star. But then, a brain... <coughs> I'll cut that part out. But then, I hatch a plan in my brain. I get the first green star, but then I die on purpose. In this game, you keep the stars that you collect even after you die. So then I take out my backup suit and bounce on the plant. Ooh, that was a close call. The second green star is a bit tricky. I have to use the touch screen to maneuver my way around this one, but it was possible. The last star wasn't possible as I needed to jump to collect it, so I will skip it for now. The first green star for 2-4 is a piece of cake, but then I enter the green pipe. Because of the rolling thing, I am forced to jump. And this is a required level to beat the game, unfortunately. So I jumped. The second green star is impossible to get without jumping, because there is no way for me to get back in the pipe without jumping. I was able to get the third star though, and that level is done. Next is the mystery house. I thought I would beat it all the way through, but I was only able to get the first four stars. The last one is impossible, so I wait for the timer to run out so I can keep the first four stars. 2-A, easy enough said. 2-5 is a bit tricky. The first green star is easy, but when we enter the pipe, I'm forced to jump. This level is mandatory. To minimize the number of jumps possible, I made this epic jump. The second green star is impossible to collect. I can start over to get the cherry and get into the pipe, but there is no way for me to be able to obtain the star without me having to do an extra jump. So I skip this star. The rest of the level in the third green star is possible jumpless. 
finally see that stream right off the bat i'm forced to jump of course this level is hard because i had to make my way past the train by bouncing on the trooper thing after the first green star i'm forced to jump again the second star is doable but for the third star i need a cannon box and i'm 90 percent sure it is impossible to get those one of those without jumping the fight is easy, just swipe Boom Boom instead of jumping on him. Unfortunately, I'm forced to jump at the end for the third time in this stupid level. All castle and or train levels have the same ending, so I have to jump for all of those. Great. Well, world 2, done. 3-1 is a little difficult. The first green star is possible, but it requires a lot of wall climbs to reach it. The second green star is easy, but the third one is a bit of a challenge. But there is one way to reach it. If you get the green star on screen, get a snowball, and use the touch screen, it is indeed possible. But of course, I'm forced to jump for the ending. There is no way for me to get on the fencing. We don't have enough stars for 3-2 yet, so we'll come back to it later. It doesn't seem like we can get enough stars to unlock this level before 3-3 unfortunately. Why unfortunately? 3-3 requires you to do multiple jumps to progress. If there is somehow a way to get extra stars to unlock this level without jumping, Oh, you can let me know, but for now we have to jump and skip the first green star in 3-3. And guess what, we have to jump in the bookcase section. Well, we might as well use this jump to get the second green star. It's hard, but possible to get the star without any extra jumps. We go on this ledge back here to progress further. But later on in the level, guess what, we have to jump again. Ugh. Well, we are able to reach the third star without any further jumps and complete the level. The Captain Toad levels are freebies in this challenge. You're not even supposed to jump anyway. These are the Captain Toad level. We now have enough stars to get into 3-2. But wait. We're forced to jump at the beginning of 3-2. Luckily, this level is optional. 3-4 is short. The first two stars are easy, but we have to jump to reach the third green star. So let's skip this star. 3-A is easy, just let the Kamek spawn on the lower platform. We get forced to jump right off the bat for 3-5. Bruh. This level is mandatory too. While swimming doesn't count as jumping, jumping out of the water counts. But there is a bit of a weird way to get out of the water without jumping. This is how. When the water descends, I swim up and right when I reach the surface, I scratch to somehow get up. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, this does not count as a jump. I did not press A or B, I just pressed Y. This makes stars 1, 2, and 3 possible. Without this strat, guess how many stars I could have gotten. That's right, none. So we beat the level with just one jump. 3-6 finally gives us a break. There isn't a lot to say about this level except that stars 1 and 2 are possible, and for star 3 I had to do two precise things. First, I had to not fall off this green thing, and second, get the third green star without touching the ground. 3-7, oh. What an adventure. I had to do a lot. First, I had to make this gap. Next, I had to climb up here and blindly land on this block. Then, I had to climb up here to get on the moving platform. Finally, I had to not only get the green star, but make it to this platform. After almost 20 minutes, I finally did all of that in one run. But I am glad this level was possible to jumpless while still collecting all the green stars. Next is 3 dash train. At the beginning, we need to jump. We collect the first and second stars. Then we avoid all the bullet bills without jumping. Then I barely make it on the wooden boxes and use the touch screen to stop the bonsai bills from destroying the boxes so I can get onto this pipe and collect the third green star. A few ledge grabs later and we are defeating the easy boss fight. Then we jump again to complete the level. Finally is the Hissocrat boss. I climb up this tiny wall to get into the fight. This fight isn't all that bad, but I need to estimate the location of the pipe so I don't have to jump into it. I also need to skip the green star, and I also need to jump to complete the level. World 3, done. That is part 1 of this massive project. Sorry again I had to break this into parts, I had final exams to study for. But yeah, it takes 14 jumps to make it to world 4. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Get my